players need um, need consistency. They like routine um, and they like being involved in football. So during lockdown, it was more of a challenge for those guys because they're used to that routine. So we um, we looked at putting in place um, something so that they can still be engaged in football even though we couldn't physically see them. So we put in place um, doing some exercise, doing some walking, running, whatever they could do um, every day. And then they check in with us and let us know how they got on. Um, so the reason for it is that I believe in fitness and the benefits of it. And so it was really good to be able to keep our guys engaged and also still get them talking and communicating um, so that we can stay in touch with them. During the lockdown, obviously it was, we weren't allowed to, to train anywhere, but uh, we managed to, or Haley managed to sort of set up an online uh, Zoom training session so that people could train um, or, or take part in training in their own home or house or garden, whatever. And that was done on a Saturday. Um, and that was all the way through the lockdown actually. And people would just drop in and drop out. So there was, um, she organized the sort of fitness training aspect of it and also skills training. Uh, besides that, to try and raise some funds, uh, she um, tried to get everybody to do, I think it was a like 5k walk, so you had to do so many steps or walks or whatever else um, to raise money. And I can't remember how much we raised, I think it was over £500 in the end that we, we raised through her efforts. I think it was very important, I think it's one of the main things about the um, during COVID to, to keep sort of fit and healthy and, and certainly for the for son Jed and, and others it was a regular thing something to look forward to on a Saturday to do the football training um, give them something to say to say, something to look forward to um, and keep the activities going so um, yes it's very important for physically and for mentally for them. We phoned us all and gave us messages of exercises and stuff we should be doing I did some cycling that she recommended Get myself in shape Lots of people did some warm-ups in or out of the house with footballs. Like, no, I haven't heard of a coach that's done this before. It was quite interesting. Because if, if, if I didn't have this, I would have just sat in front of a screen for the entirety of lockdown and got out of lockdown really unfit, out of shape, and wouldn't be able to play football. So she just helps everybody out and just makes everybody feel involved from like low disabilities to high disability, but no one's like ever off to size. We all just get along really well. It's brilliant to see them back. Uh, it's great to be physical, physically able to do stuff with them. Um, it was challenging, you know, over COVID, but it was also really good because it made you really appreciate when they're all back together, having them all really miss each other. Um, and also you miss their little sense of humour and their, the way that they do things. It's fantastic. So it's amazing to be able to think that we kept them engaged and we kept them coming back so that then when we were able to see them, we could and we could carry on. It was really good to be nominated and be thought of that somebody put the time in to nominate me um, and also then to win. It's just unbelievable to think that it's not the reason that I do football but it's nice to be recognised for what I do.